I was born with a disability and I survived four major surgeries. When I was young, people told my mother, why it is a special kid? Why not adopt a child? Why not abandon Sumit somewhere and just leave him? Because he is going to be a financial burden for you. My mother chose not to listen to those people. She chose to raise me. And I was rejected from 30 schools. I survived all my surgeries, but I was rejected from 30 schools. Then I was rejected from six colleges. They said, we will not allow you. We don't have a place for a person like you. Then I wanted to do my MBA. They said, you cannot do higher education. You have cerebral policy. People with cerebral policy are not meant for higher education. I not only went to the university, but I talked to the university, right? Because there is nothing more fun than proving people wrong, right? So, after that, I sat for six interviews. People said, uh, I will not give you a job. You are not able to stand or walk. I will not give you a job. I said, to hell with your jobs. I will start my own agency. Right now, I have 25 clients internationally, based in US, UK, and other places. If people don't open a door for you, don't worry. Don't find a different door. Take a drill machine and open that same door. Right? So, you have the power to create your own destiny, to create your own future, right? Well, people said that I will not listen to you. I did not have any friends while growing up because they isolated me. They said he talks different, he looks different. Let us not be friends with him. Let us not talk to him, right? What I did, that time there was no Facebook. That time there was Orkut, right? I started using Orkut, I made a lot of friends internationally. I, I still have friends from Orkut who are 16 year old friends of mine. 